saw the commercial on HBO where you said you know everything can kind of change with one fight. Working with little to no wiggle room here and <laughs> no kind of safety net. Is yeah. that typical? How do you operate under those circumstances? Well, it's just being a professional inside that ring. When the bell rings, you know you have a job to do. Anything outside is that is a distraction. So staying focused and staying level because I have a guy in there who trying to take my title, who's trying to take and get all the glory, so I have to make sure I'm prepared for that and that alone. Is there anything to this kind of being like a home, your home, I mean a home game for you? You've fought here so many times, just the procedure of day to the fight, getting everything going, where everything is, you kind of yeah. know this place, like the back of your hand I'm guessing, how much does that help, does it help at all? It's a great comfort, and I think I'm past that point where it brings pressure to me fighting in my hometown. Uh, I believe it's, it adds more of a motivation factor than anything. Uh, to see my family and friends and everyone in the crowd supporting me, to hear that Brooklyn chant it is nothing better than that when you're a Brooklyn Knight. Uh, putting on a show, how, how high on the list of priorities is that for Saturday night? <laughs> Very high on the list of priorities. Uh, the fans want to see knockouts. Obviously, the fans love great shows, which I try to put on every time I go out. With the last performance, I, I got a decision. But this one, I want to go for the glory. I want to go for the knockout. Whether it comes, it comes. I, I mean, a victory is assured, in my, in my opinion. But at the same time, I mean, fans, I got to give them what they want. They're paying customers, and they allow us to have, uh, you know, the career that we have. Thanks, Dan. It's been over a year since the GG fight, G fight, yeah. where a lot of people thought you fought well enough to win. Yes, sir. Has it been hard to kind of get back to that level and get on that horse again? Uh, and in, in what way? Well, just just to get back to that, because the area's fine. I know he didn't make much of a fight, but, but it's been a while since then. Uh, is it tough to get back to the level you were at for GGG and get back in world championship contention? I don't think it's I don't think it's 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 hard. It's just a matter of a couple fights and looking impressive mm -hmm. and doing everything that I've been doing. Uh, you can't knock everyone out. Uh, so if you can look impressive, uh, then that's doing your job. Uh, it was a pleasing performance to some, but like I said, ultimately fans love knockouts. So if I can produce more of those, which I'm pretty known for, yeah, <laughs> um, then it'll be great because I you know coming here in my hometown, I haven't been here in a while, I would love to produce a knockout. And WBA title eliminator, and yet they're still talking, despite the suspension for Canelo, that yeah. that rematch could happen in the fall. Is, is that disappointing to you? It's not disappointing. Let them get it over with. You know, because I, 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 I don't want anything to be affected when I step in the ring with either of the men. Uh, I don't want it to be anything looming in the, in the future that I can look forward to. I want to be able to be taken serious when I get inside that ring. And hopefully I, I can get those opportunities. And how important though is it for you to get back to get the chance to get GGG again? It's very important. Um, like I said, a lot of fans truly believe that I was during that fight. Uh, I didn't get the, the decision on the judges portion of it. But at the same time, I, I, I built, I gained a lot of respect from the boxing world in general. So it's about climbing that ladder and making sure that I can prove that I am the best in the division because that's my claim. And also, I write for Newsday on Long Island. You're working with Algeria again. Yeah. And he played kind of a big role yes. uh, prior to GGG. So why did you get back with him? What's what's the benefit? Because if it don't, it, 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 if, if it, what is it saying? When, when uh, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Mm -hmm. It works for me. Chris is uh, a viable tool in my camp. Uh, from the mental aspect, of course, the nutrition, the physical aspect. And it's a great to have a guy who understands everything that I'm going through right now because you know, as much as uh, as much as your team and everyone around kind of trains you, it's nothing like getting inside that ring and fighting. So it's a true respect between us two. And, and also, before that fight, uh, GGG, you didn't do the the day of fight weigh in. Yeah. And you, do you do that because you just like to? It's worth it to you. Well, it only to have happened one. It, it, it only happened one time, and it, and it happened because uh, I wanted to get more rest. Uh, in the night of the fight, I was at least 175 pounds. I wasn't 180, 185, 190, what they proclaimed me to be. It was my skills that allowed me to perform the way I did and take those punches the way that I did. It was not the weight. Um, if I get an opportunity to fight for the IBF and I'm required to go to the, 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 uh, the way in the second day, I'll do so. Uh, but I was fighting for numerous of belts. And at the end of the day, when you're fighting Triple G, who is the number one guy in the, in the division, a victory over him, whether it's two belts, three belts, or one belt, you know, I'll still be considered the best. So that, that's what that was about. Okay, I just didn't know if it was kind of tailored to No, it's to not. It's not, a train, it's, not a, it's not a game plan. My skills speak for itself. Okay. It's not anything. I don't need to have an extra advantage. Uh, my skill speaks for itself inside that ring. Uh, I landed more power shots. Uh, I, 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 I know them to just, you know, becoming a Triple G that you've never seen before. Exactly. So, I mean. Back him off. And, and quite frankly, 
if you are 185 pounds or you are 190 pounds the night of the fight, you're not going to look as fluid as I did in that ring. I'm going to be slow, I'm going to be sluggish, and I'm not going to fight as crisp as I did that night. Okay, but Thank you're you. saying you weren't over 175 today. No, I, yeah, I said that. Oh, you were? When the Canelo fought, fought, uh, fight fell through with Triple G, did they reach out to you to replace that May 5th? No, they never reached out to me. I never got a phone call. I wasn't expecting a phone call. Um, with the short notice, I knew that they wasn't going to... It's too risky. I was training already. I was preparing for a fight. Um, I'm never going to receive a phone call whatsoever. Uh, but if I got that opportunity, like I said before, who knows what it will happen. But at the end of the day, I never got that phone call. And um, they're not even talking about a potential fighter with me in the future. So that answers that. How does that make you feel? But they're not even talking about the potential fighter in the future. What are your thoughts uh, on I mean, it, I don't really have no really true feelings about it because the, I'm the mandatory now. So it's only a matter of time. And these guys can't run forever. So I do my job come Saturday night. And uh, the rest will speak for itself and take care of itself. We're going to do one more question, folks. Well, first he has to ask to get in the ring. He just can't proclaim. And it's a difference. I would, this is boxing, right? From the history of boxing, a lot of fighters have gotten in the ring and, and, and done the whole face-off, and there's been a respect. But he has come into Brooklyn, and he has said he's the king of Brooklyn and disrespect me in my hometown. So that won't happen. It, it, he has to ask me first. It has to be approved first. And that's what, if it was a regular guy who had respect or who would just say I'm better than him, I want to fight him, yeah, you can get in the ring, we can do the whole classic thing, but when you disrespect me and you come into my hometown, you don't get those privileges. One more question, let me get ready on my